welcome everyone to the Jonathan West Show, your favorite Saline County realtor here in Benton, Arkansas, brokered by Real Broker, coming at you today with another market update for last week. This would be, let me pull up my calendar here so I'm not telling you the wrong dates. This would be the week of the, the 3rd through the 9th. Okay, April 3rd through 9th. We're going to jump right into it, um, let you know what's going on in the market. Um, we'll even like compare it if we can. I'll, I'll compare it later on in the week to this time last year. I tried to record a video to get out on Thursday, but the I was having sound issues and everything. And then Friday, my kid broke his arm, and it was just one of those deals where I was just like, man, it's just not going to happen this week. We'll jump back on it next week. Sometimes you just got to cut things loose, let them go, and, um, you know, just restart later on. And that this that was one of those weeks, all right? All right, so let's take a look at what happened over the past seven days here in Benton, Bryant, Bauxite, and Haskell, Arkansas. We had 23 new listings last week. 23 new listings with an average of 306.151. Let's jump over here and look at our list price per square foot. Our average list price per square foot right here, 156.66, and our average square footage is 1934. So that is pretty good right there. Let's let's take a look at some of these and see. Um, I actually toured that one, submitted an offer on it. We didn't get it. Um, but it is what it is. Um, there's a price change right there. We'll dig into that later on. Bryant Meadows, Santa Fe Trail, uh, Sharon Road, River Ridge, Mountain Perrin. Um, there's Debwood, South Sardis, East Miller Sardis, South Sardis. Man, okay. There's one on Highway 298, Rodeo Drive, Reuben Drive, Lake Valley Drive, and Colonial Drive. So yeah, there's quite a few there that, that have hit the market. Um, a lot of good listings out there, as usual. Let's take a look at our back on the markets. Our back on the markets. Now, I address this every week. There is really no way to tell why an offer fell through and the home came back on the market there's just not okay there's no way to tell that um it could have been their financing fell through or their contingency um wasn't able to be removed um or you know they found something in the who knows right who knows why but we had six come back on the market Average days on market for those are 39. Okay, we've got four that expired. I'm going to look at those real quick. Average is 424.504. I don't know why that one expired. That's right in the ballpark of kind of what people are looking for. This one, you've heard me say it again. Okay, These, this price, that, that happens in that price range in our area. Um, for our area, these are considered very expensive homes. Okay, very expensive homes. Um, like this Castaway Bay one, that's probably in Hurricane Lake. Yep, builds a Hurricane Lake. Oh, and it's a new construction. Okay, so once again, new construction. It expired before they could get it sold. And so there you go. Uh, Vincentage, that's probably a new construction as well. Yeah, new construction. Okay, so that's what happened there. I mean, it's Denise Hipskin. I mean, she sells a lot of property. Um, and honestly, her husband probably built this house. So there you go. Um, so yeah, got six back on the mark. Uh, four expired. Sorry, we had 14 price changes. 14 price changes. Let's look and see if any of these might fit the bill for a customer here. 14 price changes. No, and it, even if they did, they're not in our price range. So, okay, so there we go. Um, next, let's look at our solds. 
All right, so our sold price was 317.808 for average. Let's get my calculator out here. 317.808 divided by 322,394. 98.5% of list price. So, yep, we're holding true. 98% of list price. Let's check out our sold per square foot. Average sold per square foot, 143.81, and the average square footage was 2137. 143.81, 21.37. So there we go. Um, that's your sold price per square foot and your average sold square footage. Um, we got two under contract. We got two open houses this week. Okay, hey, let's take a look at this. May need to point some of my buyers in this direction. No, we're not in that price range. We're definitely not in that price range. Um, but these are new constructions. This is what it looks like. I'm going to take a look. Jennifer Carter. Providence, Providence Road. Yeah, those are probably new constructions. Um, yep, yeah, I'm guaranteeing you those are new constructions because they're how they're basically side by side. And Jennifer lists there, she's got at least one builder she lists with. Um, so there you go, guys. Um, that is our market in a nutshell for last week. Um, let's jump in. Let's see. So let's, let's take a look here. What was our sold? Our sold in the last seven days. Uh, no, here's what I want to do. This is what I want to do. Let's go. Sold. We're going to go our area, Benton, yep, Bryant, Bauxite, Benton Harmony Road. Okay. So sold. Close date. We'll go close date this year. So, so far we sold 356 homes this year. Average sales price was 273.248. Our average price per square foot is scroll down here. 111,119. And your average square footage is 1369 for the year. Okay, for the year. Um let's jump back and see if we can do for the same time last year. What's the day? April 10th. No, no, no. January 1st, 2022 to April 10th, 2022. So by this time last year, we had sold 541 homes. Okay. So let's make a note of that. 541. We're going to do some math here, y'all. Minus. Three fifty six equals 185. Okay. And we're going to divide that by one. So that is a decrease of 34%. 34%. Let that seek in. We have sold 34% fewer homes this year than we did all of that than we did in the same time frame last year. Um, the market has shifted, it has definitely shifted. It's not a bad market. We just don't have near the inventory that we did at this time last year. 
Um, we've still got the buyers. I'm still working with about six buyers right now. Um, we have got the buyers out there. We just don't have the inventory. And a lot of that is because of interest rates. Um, you know, that's, that's what it boils down to. But if you are in the market for a home, I am always here to help. I am here in Saline County, Arkansas. Guys, it has been a wonderful morning so far. I've got to get off here and get some things done so I can take my kiddo to get ass put on his arm. <laughs> but he didn't cry a bit. So I will jump back on here tomorrow. I will see you all then. Thanks for tuning in to the Jonathan West Show. And please do give me a like, subscribe, share, comment. I respond to all comments. Um, and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.